for coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. I'm glad you made up your mind. Must have been difficult. Yes. The prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So, you can talk to her about it. Uh, pr president wait! Grace's facial expression looks normal, but she's clenching her fists as she watches Kaleida walk away. <sighs> Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes, and that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay, then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by ether. They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. I'll skip the details, but the gist is the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. That is to say, the children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. What is reinforce the seal supposed to mean? Wasn't that just part of his over-the-top delusions? Unfortunately, the little one hasn't been able to explain things clearly. But from what I gather, the prototype wanted the other machines to rush to its side. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. The other two children received much less information, and the content also appeared sporadically. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that, and probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature and is likely still functional. If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you. Hello? Wise. Everyone with Bellabog. Can you hear me? You're now in the Hollow. Somewhere near the border between New Eridu and the Old Capital. Don't forget. Although the upcoming Metro Renovation Project also goes through this area, Public Security has yet to approve any units or individuals to enter. <sighs> I never thought we'd end up back here. Uh, you've been here before? This was a thriving new development area before the fall of the old capital. The government and tops invested huge sums of money in construction. Even Bellabog was working on a big project in the area. But that's not important. We should start looking for the prototype. Right. Then let me explain the plan. 
First, we'll send the pile driver, boring machine, and heavy duty grappler to three fixed positions in the hollow. Once they're all in place, Grace will turn on the signal transmission function so each of the three machines receives the return signal from the prototype as a repeater. The strength of the signals forwarded by the three machines as repeaters will be different. Then we just have to look for a good location to decode the signal and find the exact coordinates of the prototype. Communication between us and the prototype mustn't be interrupted until we finish decoding the signal. Wise, the location where Grace and the pile driver are headed to is nearby. I'll take them there. You just need to join the others and deliver the other two machines to their designated places. Let's find the prototype using these three machines. Grace, take the pile driver. Leave the other two to us. Master, the path ahead is blocked by debris. Clearing is required before we may proceed to the boring machine. Understood. I will boss it around without mercy in the same manner my master bosses me around, and it won't dare complain. Consign any obstacle to its deadly demise, as you command! Can you hear me, Proxy? The search is about to begin! I need your help gathering all the kids at the right place. External data installation detected, analyzed, and deployed. Transmitting message from the client, Grace. Hey Proxy, I just sent you a temporary control device. You can use it to maneuver these kids. Use the device's directional controls to make the boring machine move the way you want. Our goal is to get all of them moved into position, then transmit a signal to locate the prototype. Coordinates for where the boring machine needs to go have been uploaded. By the way, the boring machine can smash through walls, but can't deal with explosives. So be gentle when piloting her. I've uploaded the data. It's up to you now. This little one has enough tonnage to detonate them. How dare you comment on a young lady's tonnage! Just send a normal signal, okay? Head over to the grappler, Proxy! Temporary control device deployed. Signal transfer in progress.
Nice job there, Proxy. We're getting more signal feedback. Okay, same task, but this time we're controlling the grappler. Grapplers are different from boring machines. Grapplers can handle explosives but can't smash through walls. So be careful. All right, all three machines have been delivered to their designated locations. Grace, do you copy? It's time to start sending signals to the prototype. Roger that. The rest is up to you, my children. It's time to call your elder. <coughs> oh. I've got it. We're getting a message back from the boring machine. All three machines are receiving a signal from the prototype. <laughs> awesome. What's going on? What's that noise on your end, Grace? It's nothing, just some ethereals. I'll deal with them in a minute. Oh, it seems the high-frequency signal from the transmitter not only affects the prototype, but gets ethereals riled up, too. No, Grace, wait! I'm detecting multiple individuals with high ether activity approaching you. I'm afraid you and the pile driver may have trouble fending them off. Stop transmitting the signal, Grace! You and the pile driver have to get out of there! Don't provoke the ethereals! No can do, Sweet Pea. Didn't the proxy say we can't let the transmission be interrupted until we decode the signal? I'm ordering you to stop transmitting immediately! We'll try again, after we've dealt with the ethereals! I'll be frank, Coleda. The prototype is sending a signal, but the time interval between replies is getting longer and longer. That means the prototype's communication module no longer has the power to send confirmation replies for every message. If we stop now, we won't get a second chance. The prototype's logic core is vital to Bellabog, so I can't give up that easily. Don't be stupid, Grace. It's not about whether you give up or not. You can't handle that many ethereals by yourself. Even without the prototype, we can still develop new tech. That'll have to do, Coleda. My guests have arrived. I can't greet them properly while talking to you. Wait! Don't go! Grace! Sis! Damn it! Why does nobody ever listen? Proxy, we have to go save her! Warning. High-risk hostiles detected. They are rapidly approaching Grace's location. Not good. We have to help her. Don't push too hard. I'll cover you. I'll help. <laughs> You need more rest, Press. You're still growing. Oh, 
president. Let's go! with the prototype wasn't broken. That's not what I'm asking! I mean, are you hurt? Kalita! What was that for? That's what you get! Why did you disobey a direct order from your president? You even cut communication. Even a hopeless tech geek like you must have limits to your madness! You say it's for the benefit of Bellabog? If anything happened to you, even if we found the prototype, who's gonna do the research on it? Hold on, Sweet Pea. Let me explain. Oh, I don't want to hear it! Calm down, Kaleida. Grace's decision to cut off communication may not be commendable, but she wasn't acting recklessly. We were monitoring the situation from a distance, and she remained calm while fighting off the ethereals. It's precisely because of her that our search for the prototype hasn't failed. Grace knew the situation here, but things were urgent, and she didn't know how to explain it to you. I get it. I should have listened to what she had to say. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made you worry. Uh, it's over now. I'm just glad you're all right. You two actually care about one another. If only you could just be honest with each other. Proxy, we can move on to the next step in fighting the prototype, right? Let's go! Grace went to great lengths to maintain that signal. We can't let her efforts go to waste! Search data now. Locating the prototype. Optimizing algorithm. Target location confirmed. Wise. Your current location is the most suitable one to amplify the signal. Wait a second. Barry and I will soon have the prototype's position. Calculating coordinates. Prototype location found. Generating a map of the area. Reminder. Since there are no working cameras in the hollow, the map was generated using street camera images from many years ago based on the coordinates. I'm sending you the map Fairy has created. Ah, got it. Let me see. Hmm, it's not very clear. 
I can just about make out a strangely shaped tower. Grace, let me see that. Oh, this is... What's wrong, Ben? Is there a problem with the prototype's location? President, back then, just before the former president disappeared, Bellabog was awarded construction rights for a project in a new development area, the Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. This isn't a tower. It's a monument in the center of Memorial Plaza. What? The prototype is located in the plaza that the old man never finished? But... But why? I don't know what's going on, but looking at the picture, I have a bad feeling about it. The prototype's sudden appearance. It's like... The president is trying to tell us something. Right. Didn't Friday say Horse was calling it? You're overthinking it. It might have brought up the name Horse, but an enlightened center, stabilizing the seal, it's all nonsense. But I am curious about what the prototype is doing here. We should go check it out. We found it! The monument is just ahead. We're almost there. This is a pretty rough path, so watch your step. Anton! Let the proxy sit on the machine! Grace? Is something wrong? You're so slow. Me? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Good. If you're hurt and trying to hide it from me, you'll be in for it. Hey, sweet pea. We're family. Don't be mean. What? When I was in danger earlier, you called me sis, right? Ah, <sighs> memories. <laughs> I haven't heard you call me that since you became the president of Bellabog. Really? I didn't notice. I must have yelled it without thinking. In the heat of the moment, I saw the danger you were in, facing those ethereals, and my mind went blank. I could only think of one thing. I don't want to lose another family member. You risked your life for Bellabog's future. But as president, there was nothing I could do. I haven't been a very good president. Keep saying that and I'm going to get angry, Sweet Pea. I know better than anyone how hard you've worked these past years. You're still growing, but you work from early in the morning to late at night. Am I gonna need to be the one to tell you you're not a machine? You say you're not interested in technical stuff, but your desk is all stuffed with my well-worn technical papers. Even though they're well-written. A kid your age, I don't know. Shouldn't you be reading comics or something? Compared to you, maybe it's me who's incompetent. I said that I was doing it for the future of Bellabog. But perhaps I was just trying to salvage Uncle Horse's legacy. I thought, if you could just see the prototype in person, you'd understand what an amazing man he was. It's sad to think someone that outstanding is rejected by his own daughter. Sis... But, ever since that day you said I knew nothing, well, I noticed some clues and started connecting the dots. Koleda. Have you been hiding something about Horse? I... The night Dad went missing, I saw him leave with my own two eyes. It was late at night, and I was woken up by the sound of a phone call from the living room. I came out of my room to see what was going on, and I saw him clutching this bulging bag. He was planning to leave without saying goodbye. I had a bad feeling about it, so I ran over to stop him. I asked him where he was going, but his bag was yanked open. 
and I saw it was filled with stacks of banknotes. I learned later, it was the money missing from Bellabog's accounts. I had no idea something like that happened. <laughs> yeah. After that, plus the public security report, I just can't believe in him as much as you guys do. So you suffered alone all these years? Why didn't you tell anyone? Wouldn't it have been easier to just get it out? Uh, who knows? I guess I thought if I said it out loud, that'd officially make him a bad person. <laughs> but you're right. I do feel better. Just promise me one thing, Sweet Pea, okay? Whatever happens in the future, we face it together. Bellabog is your home. Even without Horse, me, Anton, and Ben, we are all your family. Okay, I promise. Besides, how's that saying go? Facts aren't always the truth. Maybe Horse had another reason for leaving that day. I'm not asking you to accept my point of view, but the mystery surrounding Horse will always haunt Bellabog. So we'll keep looking for answers. Right now, our priority is finding the prototype. Let's get going. This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument! The slick colors, the handsome lines... Yes! That's the prototype! But why is it in that bizarre position? Hmm... I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's actively clamping down on the monument. Did something happen here? Ben, Anton, you guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that! Whew. You two be careful in there! The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places! Don't worry. The cockpit was well sealed. It's still pretty clean inside. Huh? This... this is... No mistaking it. That's a bullet hole. That's not all, Kalita. Just look around. There are bullet holes all over the cockpit. What? What happened here? The casings all fell inside the cockpit, so the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. There's a stack of notes on the center console. Wait, this is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this! That's a bill for the prototype! Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah, the amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. Uh -huh. I knew a guy like Horse would never do something like running away with company funds! Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence! Uh, wait. Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did he disappear? We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man... My dad... didn't run away of his own accord. But then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. Damn it! I get it now. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird! He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and... 
What exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous. But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. That's right, President. We'll find a way. Faithin is ready to help whenever you need it, Kaleida. Everyone. Yeah, you guys are right. As President, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Okay, let's get this prototype back! Over this way. Let him more. Careful. Slowly now. That's it. Steady now, steady. No worries. I'm on it. <laughs> Job done. Let's go. We're all finished here. Hmm. Huh? Wait. I seem to have forgotten something very important. Right! The seal! My mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. <sighs> but what could the seal actually be? Hmm? Huh? Huh? <sighs> something moving in the monument! Is it an ethereal? Doesn't look like one, but yet. Ether levels are shockingly high. It's coming! That was a shock! Proxy, you've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? Its outward appearance isn't that of an ethereal, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. What's wrong, Wise? What in the world? Oh no! Hans, Friday, come in! Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone! It's huge! It absorbed the machines? This monster's aura... I've never felt like this before! Can't believe that was in the monument! Dad, is this what he... Because he found this? Look at this. I'll oh. handle it. I'll take it. All right, this.
Calm down. Our sweet pea is not that delicate. Big one, just focus on the enemy. Leave the tough ones. <laughs> and done. I'll give technical aid. Ready? Safety first. Lay it into the ground. The work ain't done. She just tried me. Like this. <laughs> Every effort counts. End of the line. This little one's gotcha. Try my pillar. This fellow seems a bit stubborn. You just try me. Warning: unusually active target detected. <laughs> Can't let the tankies do all the fighting. Big thing! Time to work, gang! Continues, we're done for. <laughs> the prototype? The president! It took a while to get this thing moving. Leave it to me! Come on, you punk! <laughs> Go, president! Prototype doesn't sound good. Sweet pea, don't force it. It's corrupting the prototype. Almost. Come on. Hurry up and get moving. Here, Kaleda. Give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Dad? Can I really believe in you again? Get moving! Bella! 
Hucklebug machinery will never give in! Dad, you <laughs> idiot. Hope you'd be proud of what Bellabox become. Wise, look who's here. Yo, Proxy! What's up? Kaleida, how was your checkup at the hospital? Don't worry, I got the all clear. I kept saying I was fine, but my sister and Anton insisted I get a bunch of tests to the hospital just in case I have ether corruption. I understand why they're worried. You were in the prototype fighting that monster at close range for a long time. We don't know if it can cause any special harm to humans. <laughs> I guess you're right. Speaking of which, how goes the investigation into the monster and the prototype? Oh, that's actually the reason I came. Let's start with the monster. Public security called this morning, said they're making the necessary technical preparations to recover the monster's remains. Oh, really? That's good. The remains left by the monster are pretty unique, so I thought it'd take public security longer to deal with. Yeah, that's thanks to those two pubsick girls who came to investigate the scene. But we can't just wait around while they investigate the monster. Can I leave this thing to you, Faithen? This kind of chip is the external memory unit from the prototype's logic core you mentioned before, right? Right, exactly. Back then, when he found the monster was hidden in the monument, my dad must have driven the prototype there with the intention of destroying it. If that's the case, there may be some clues left within the external memory unit. But my dad used a special encryption process, so we have no way to read the data inside. I hate to ask, but can you help? There's no need to be so polite, Kaleida. Besides, we actually have our own reasons for wanting to look into the monster. We'll find a way to decrypt the data inside. Don't worry. Great. Then I'll leave the storage unit with you. I have a meeting with the supplier, so I'll be heading out. Bye, Kaleida. Good luck with the project. See you soon. I'll be waiting for some good news from you. Hmm. I feel like Kaleida's demeanor has changed since we first met her. She's becoming a more and more mature leader. It seemed like such a simple commission. I never expected it to unearth Bellabog's past and involve such a mysterious monster. Wise, didn't you say your eyes were feeling strange when that monster started emanating energy? But only for a short moment. Nothing to worry about. Pretending you're fine will just make me worry more, Wise. We're family. You can't fool me about something so important. There's definitely something off about where that monster came from. It might have something to do with that thing we've been trying to learn about. Anyway, the remains were handed over to public security. We have to find a way to decipher the information on this storage unit. Fairy, since we've increased our electricity bill fivefold to keep you going, I assume you should be able to decipher it. I'd be happy to be of service, Master. However, given the need to decipher it quickly, your current system's computing power, and your electricity usage requirements, I do not recommend doing it here. There is a hacker on Internaut, codename Rain, who, judging by their resume, fits your current needs. This person has also done business with Nicole from The Cunning Hairs. Rain? Oh, I've heard of her, Wise. She's a first-rate proxy when it comes to cracking encryption. So she knows Nicole. <laughs> that makes things easier. Nicole would never miss an opportunity to use her contacts to cover her debts, after all. <laughs> <laughs>